Hey guys, Old Hippie here. I was watching a map review for this new map that came out a couple of days ago on YouTube yesterday. And discussion came up in the live chat about how to change the prices of the uh, fields and farmlands and such. So I figured I'd make a little video and show you guys how to do it that don't know how. And uh, as you can see on this map, the prices are pretty expensive on most of these fields, except for these couple small ones over here. And if we look at field 19 and 16, they're both over a million dollars. Now, depending on what economy you're playing on, if you're playing on hard, you're going to have to grind pretty hard to be able to afford those these fields. So I'm going to show you guys how to change the prices and make it easier. Exit out of the game. You don't want to save it because you're more than likely going to have to start a new game to get these changes to take effect anyway. Now, when you download a, map, a mod map, it will come in a zip format, which is just... All the files needed for that map zipped into one file. And you're going to need a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip, uh, WinZip. And you can Google those and find them. They're free. And uh, if you've downloaded the map to your mods folder, you may want to make a map or a, a folder on your desktop to... Uh, copy it over to so it's a little easier to find and work with and you know you don't have to screw everything up in your mods folder and as you see I've got a folder here called Michigan on my desktop so I just copied the map over to this folder and you'll see it's a uh, WinRAR zip file I, I choose to use WinRAR uh, I have 7 zip also it's pretty good and what we need to do is right click on this folder. And once you right click on it, you want to click extract here. And I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll, I'll be right back after it finishes extracting. Okay, now we have all the files that were inside that zip folder. And you will see a folder here called Maps. And we want to double click that to open it. Once we've done that, go down towards the bottom, you'll see a XML file called Map US underscore Farmlands. Okay, we want to right click on that and choose Open with Notepad or Notepad plus plus whatever you use I use uh, notepad plus plus okay now once you have that folder that file open you will see at the top here where it says price per HA which is price per hectare and it's 60,000 and what we want to do we're going to change I'll change it to 15,000 just for the purpose of the video. Uh, once you've done that, just go up here to the top, click the little disk that says Save. Okay, now we can close that out. 
click back on the Michigan folder where your zip file is. You see the Michigan folder right there. Now with the maps folder highlighted, you want to right click on that and click add to archive. And once that window's up, you want to click on browse. And you'll see here the FS19 underscore Michigan underscore map. You want to just click on that. Click save. And this window will come up and make sure it's, it will say zip because that, that file is already a zip file. Then just click OK. All right, now once that's re-zipped, you just click on the zip file. Okay, once you right-click it, and then click Copy. Then we want to go to our FS19 mods folder. Just click over on documents. If you have it on Steam, this is, well, it should be in there no matter if you have Steam or not. I'm going to click on documents, my games, Farm Simulator 19, 2019. And then double click mods. And then we want to go over here to the right and right click somewhere on the empty space. And, and then click paste. And it's going to come up and say the destination already has a file named FS19 Michigan Map Zip. Just click replace the file in the destination. Okay, now let's close that out and we go back up, go back into the game. I'm going to go over to an empty slot to start a new game. And once we're back in the game, we just want to go to our maps and then go to lands. Okay, then we click on field 19, which was a, a, like a million three hundred sixty thousand dollars, is now three hundred forty thousand. So it's a fourth of what it was, and that's pretty much all there is to it. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like, and I'll catch you guys later.